Hi, you're watching Movie Guide. I'm Evie Bear Carroll at the premiere of The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Let's talk to some of the cast and crew. I think it's a very important thing for young people to know that you can do anything. As long as you are a kind and good person, you can do anything in the world. And what's really beautiful about this film is that Clara and Philip help each other to save the world, that they work together. It's not he, she, he saves the world or she saves the world, it's they save the world. And that's a very beautiful thing to see that you can work together and you can accomplish it. Do you have a favorite um, story or book or movie that you watched every Christmas? Ooh, um, I love uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, I think it's called, where it's like the compilation of all the different you know, Mickey cartoons. Um, and then just just little bits in here and there, you know, like watching it on repeat on, on, on the channels. I just love doing that. What do you hope like families get out of the movie? I hope that they see that you can be you no matter who you are. Just believe in yourself and you can do anything in the world. What do you hope like young, you know, viewers, dancers see out of this? Because this is such a great story. Yeah, you know, I think that it's incredible that... Um, that it's such a positive story, a positive representation of women. You know, the role of Clara, she's so strong and she's independent and, um, you know, and then for me to be a black woman and to be representing ballet, I, I think that it's just going to do so much for the next generation for so many years to come that they look at me and they think, oh, that's what a ballerina looks like. And that's pretty incredible. Thanks, yeah. Debbie. Um, do you have any great memories of like Nutcracker and growing up? Yeah, my mom and I always went to the Nutcracker Ballet together. Um, that was kind of our thing. We always liked going to like theater productions and stuff like that. So I would always go with her to those, and that, that's what it kind of reminded me of. You know, just I, I hope they pop out the like the dance and the classic like song. And what about um, stories or kind of books that you read at Christmas or movies that you love to watch at Christmas? Oh my gosh, movies I love. I was I was telling someone, I hope that this, I mean, I'm sure this movie will be like a, like a huge success, but I think it's exciting to just see the start of it because it's like Elf and the Polar Express. Those are like classic movies that will never get old and that you watch every year, and I hope that this is another one that will become a tradition in people's families. I know, that's the kind of thing at Christmas time. It's like you always have your movies that you watch during that time period and stuff, and it's fun. And it's awesome to see another one hopefully be added to that, yeah. And talk about your song that just came out. Yeah, so Keep On Moving On just came out on Friday, and I'm really excited about it. I mean, um, it's it's cool because it's it's. I've heard a lot of the fans say it's more my style. You know, it's not so poppy and um, poppy, but um, uh, yeah, no, it's just um, it's really exciting. I've got another Christmas song coming out that I'm excited about too. So, how excited were you to be in this huge Disney movie with a lot of dancing? I'm I'm just speechless. Yeah. Speechless. No, I'm, I'm super excited to be a part of this all-star cast and to be a part of this huge film by Disney. It's, it's just, you know, it's a dream come true for us kids. I'm still a big kid, so it, it's been just amazingly exciting for me. Like, I have no words. Yeah, okay. Are there some differences in this one that's kind of fresh and more modern? Or? Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of um, modern uh, ways that they've done the, um, the set and, and how just... It's visually stunning, this film. It's, it's, you haven't seen anything like it. The worlds that they built, these different realms, and the way that they modernized it in the storyline and how they have certain plot twists, that's a part of it, it's incredible. And have you seen it all done on the big screen yet, or is tonight the I night? I haven't. Tonight is the night, so I'm excited. I'm jumping like a little kid right now. <laughs> it's cool to see wait. yourself up wait. there, too. Yes, yeah, you know, it's going like... to be amazing to see my movements a part of this huge Mouse King, so I, I can't wait. What is your favorite Christmas story? Uh, it's probably the Nutcracker. I mean, it's always so long, though. The ballets are so long. I sat through so many of my little sisters' Nutcrackers. I was in a few when I was little, you know. Um, it's so iconic, and I can't wait to see what they did with it tonight. And um, do you have any favorite, like, uh, memories of Christmases with your family? Or? Oh, my gosh, yeah, so many. But, like, you know, I mean... I'm hoping this is going to be up there with the, like the movies, the must-sees of the year. You know, we always have to watch Elf and um, exactly. uh, Christmas Vacation, and uh, I like to watch Meet Me in St. Louis, which is like doesn't seem like a Christmas movie, but the Christmas part of that movie is my favorite part. So I hope this is up there with the must-watch, must must watch every oh, year. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, I like the Muppet Christmas Tale. Oh, <laughs> I don't know that I know that one. You need to watch it. I'm it's the Muppets. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna have to watch. Like the Muppets Take Manhattan is like my favorite movie ever. Oh, every Muppet movie. Even yeah. though it's ridiculous. I don't know the Christmas one, though. I'm going to have to watch yeah. that. Okay, what can we be excited for? You have the Netflix. 
Netflix, I'm doing No Good Nick, and I have a Christmas movie coming out about the Nutcracker um, on Lifetime okay. at the end of November. I can't remember the date, but it's called The Very Nutty Christmas. Okay. And I'm a baker who um, has a big order of cookies coming up for Christmas, and my boyfriend breaks up with me, and I make a wish on an old Nutcracker, and it turns out he wakes up in my, uh, my house, and I don't think anything of it. Okay. I think he's my new, like, Airbnb guy. Okay. So he's... Uh, He's helping me make cookies, and he's protecting me from rats and okay. stuff like that. So it's, it's fun and <laughs> well, so I'm like a sucker for all the Lifetime and all the Hallmark well, Christmas like movies. This one is really funny okay. and really silly. So oh, no, And it's it's romantic comedy version of modern telling of what's going on here. But we don't have four realms. Okay. We only have, like, the bakery and then, like, the outside snow scenes. Okay. <laughs> I think you're, like, the hit of the red carpet with your dress. Amazing. Um, now, are you excited about seeing this movie, The Nutcracker? Um, I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch it. This cast is incredible. And I love the theme of the ballet and the fantasy and the fairy tale. Um, and I'm just so happy to be here and I'm so excited to watch it. Now, are you excited about stuff coming up for Christmas? Yes, I am very excited. Do you have a favorite Christmas story that your family would talk about? Um, yes, actually. My two aunts, their name is Shamati and Siddhartha, they said that Santa, they heard Santa on their roof. So they always tell that and I'm just like, <laughs> okay. Awesome. And do you have something you're excited to get? Are you asking? Um, no, not really. I don't really need anything for Christmas, um, but just healthy family members and healthy dog that I have. I love her. Um, and yeah, just celebrating with family. Do you have a favorite memory from growing up, including the Nutcracker? That might be like... <laughs> yes. Like, my mom and I, every Christmas, would watch the Nutcracker, the ballet. Also, at Radio City Music Hall, um, the Christmas Spectacular, they would have, like, an ode to the Nutcracker. And, like, it's part of my childhood, so I can't wait to see it on film. Yeah. Did you have any other stories that you loved reading during Christmas time? Um, probably the night the night before Christmas yeah. and all through the mouth. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that one. Amazing. I also love The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. That's a good movie to watch. It's a little spooky. About any um, traditions that you do with your family? Oh well, I usually get together uh, with my huge Irish family on my dad's side, also my mom's side. But it's really fun that, like, we just have so much fun just spending time together, and we're, our family is so busy that when we get together on Christmas, it's just so amazing. Is it loud? Very loud. It gets really crazy, but I love it. So, what can we be excited for for you? Um, I am working on music, so hopefully my EP comes out soon. I'm really excited. And um, American Housewife is airing. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wrap from the red carpet of The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Make sure to check out the four of you at movieguide.org.